Hey there, good people. Good morning from Thaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. I'll be doing two episodes tonight and both are Arabic houses, okay? And these are going to be really, really uh, like two of the fragrance I want to review for a very long time, especially one of them. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is this perfume called Khanjar. Khanjar basically means a special kind of a dagger. I think uh, with a lot of, you know, ornaments or, you know, made of stone and, you know, like uh, I think mostly Arab warriors used to use or carry or just for decoration, you know, you'll see what I mean with the bottle. So I've been looking for this for a very long time. This is the perfume that I'm talking about. This is, I think, how it's called Banafa for Oud and for uh, men and women. This is made in Saudi Arabia. This, okay, this perfume. You see this bottle is very iconic. I want to talk about it. So there are two versions. One is a sprayable, other one is this. So I went to the expo recent times, the fragrance expo, which was featured, which was featuring a lot of Oud, you know, Middle Eastern kind of fragrances and I met Ajmal Afnan uh, distributors in Bangladesh who are called MMC Luxury Perfumes. So while I was exploring some of their perfumes, the next stalls they used to have these other ones that I wanted. So for example, you know, like I do, I love to do different kind of reviews. Like there's a fragrance called, I think Clock Tower or something. It's like a tower kind of like, looks like a, you know, like the Big Ben kind of a big bottle. And I think that's from maybe, I'm not sure if it's from House of Arabian Wood. But it's a very nice little perfume, it's oud based but I want to review that because the bottle is iconic, right? So that's why I'm doing these and I like to mix my channel with different kind of content, okay? So this I think is a, I don't know how many ml this one is, I don't know, like perhaps 20 ml but they say here 12 grams, so maybe 12 ml, I don't know. So I saw this in one of the stalls, they were having the sprayable version, big bottle, it looks really much bigger than this. And then I said, I'm going to buy it later after doing a video. Then I saw another stall. This guy was selling the perfume, other version. I said, I guess I'm going to buy both. One from you, one from him. He said, uh, brother, with all due respect, the one I think he is selling is made in China, not the original stuff. Like the bottle, it's cloned. So I was a bit surprised because these are not very expensive. Why would someone be copying that? And they're not lying. You know, over there, everybody is an honest person. And I asked the other seller, he said, yeah, probably go with the oil version, the, orig the sprayable that I have. I'm not sure about the quality. So I went with the oil version. That's the story. This is how that looks. Very simplistic kind of Middle Eastern kind of uh, look in the box. It looks wooden like the texture, but it's just all paper. Nothing fancy in there. So this is made in Saudi Arabia. Oil perfume, 12 grams. I don't know how much that translates to. If you go Fragrantica, they will show this is a release of 2022. I'm not <coughs> sorry. I still have some sickness. But I think this was like long back, you know, so perhaps it's re-released or something like it. So the bottle here is something that, you know, you collect these for, okay? Take a look at that. This is like a showpiece. Like, you know, if you have this somewhere in your collection, you can just put it as art decor, I don't know, in your uh, living room or somewhere where you have, you know, guests coming in. They will definitely admire this. It looks beautiful, okay? It has some gemstones, okay? The juice is in there. You can see a little bit dark colored juice. The name of the perfume in written in Arabic. And nowhere it mentions in sticker or anything like that for uh, batch and all that. But this on the box, it says uh, uh, 2022 uh, produced February and then it's uh, good until 2025 of February. So basically they said three years, but oils, I'm pretty sure there's no alcohol in them. So basically they're going to run for as long as you have them. They're going to be good, just going to get stronger over the years. This is a solid, uh, like a presentation and the, if you buy the sprayable version is going to be a little bit bigger i think that's a 50 or 30 ml so this is how you take it out this is how uh, you have to open it uh, the oil is in there with the stick okay so i have already pre-sprayed not pre-sprayed i pre-applied or uh, like did the swipe on the paper and this one if you see i don't know if you'll pick it up this thing left a mark okay mark as in like the paper already shows the color of the juice and man this is an intense experience okay this, first of all, the oil, I have reviewed some oil in my channel, like from Armaf or sometimes Rasasi. Their oils are, Middle Eastern oils are like crazy on performance. You know, like if you look for performer, this is going to perform like a really long time. So this, as they say, it's a, it's a unisex perfume and that's what it is. Okay, it can be worn by both men and women. So the DNA on this, like the performance I was talking about is beast mode. Projection is also beast mode, 10 out of 10 for both. Price, I think I paid... Hmm, like they said it used to be like cheaper now it's gone to like 20 dollars under okay so it's a cheapy it's a cheapy uh, and uh, longevity and projection both are crazy so the smell the 
main thing about this main player of this perfume i think is oud uh, perhaps vanilla rose and amber these are the more uh, major four players also perhaps a little bit backed by musk very sweet and intense experience this one will remind you of a lot of perfumes i have I'm, i have some of them just going to give you an idea what this one reminds me of the genre or the type if you know fragrances like this ones okay uh, latafaz ragba the caramel burn sugar kind of fragrance then ragba oud intense if you know this one check out my review on those then i think this is called uh, latafa oud mood this is the dark uh, juice very strong oud and my favorite currently is amiral oud intense oud if you know this kind of fragrances this one the juice will come off as something like those but a little bit sweeter less aggressive but don't put too much just do one swipe that will do and project for a very long time if your skin keeps warming up this perfume will work both in summer and winter i feel for both genders as i mentioned but it will be better in winter because colder months it will develop naturally layer by layer and you will feel like this goes better with colder weather so you can layer this with some other perfumes that i showed you like say 24 gold sensory and this you're going to be like invincible like so so beast mode so definitely it's a beast mode perfume but if you put this on summer and bit too much you might get headache from it because it's going to turn kind of animalic the rose will pop up really really uh, strong and the oud as well so amber is a big player as well all the four players are big the rose amber uh, oud and i think the other one is what the rose amber oud perhaps musk and some gourmand touches so when i smell it it smells really sweet it smells really sweet there's just no two way about it it's very sweet and intense experience it's not going to be loved by everybody you know maybe you love the bottle but if you leave let's say somewhere where it's hot and humid and 40 some degrees you will find this choking like too strong okay but if you have a taste for uh, gourmand kind of fragrances middle eastern style perfumes this is not a um, fragrance that will blow you away if you smell something like it before you may feel this one is not needed needed but uh, for the bottle yeah you, you want this bottle in a collection a really nice had some weight to it as well i really like the way it's constructed just for collection purpose it's not too expensive you can collect it and i don't use oils that much but i just want to review it so overall as i told you if you like the description give it a try if you find it somewhere if you if you blind buy this i think in uk some sites they sell it for 15 pounds or so or less so it's it's not like a deal breaker okay for what you get like the amount of juice it's this is going to last you like a lifetime you know if you unless you wear it like all day uh, every day like 5 6 tens uh, like swipes that's a different story but this is a perfume for people who like to get into oud if you like oud rose combo it will remind you of a lot of fragrances okay and it's a caramelized kind of sweet oud uh, rose combo okay so the perfume it's not brand new you smell a lot like this in if you go middle east you smell this dna everywhere so it's a common dna but a beautiful presentation i really like the name khanjar and i'll try to review the sprayable version but i'll give you for this one the presentation is 10 out of 10 such a creative bottle perhaps they have a lot more in this house but i really like this presentation and the longevity those two categories this gets 10 overall scent profile i'll give it a 7 out of 10 um not anything new or unique but the presentation check out some of the other reviews from some of the other reviewers on youtube community i'm pretty sure some of my indian brothers and middle eastern brothers covered this okay uh, let me do one more review then i'll upload this take care good night from dhaka bangladesh bye bye